Hey, what's up guys? So 2017 is going to be here in just a few short hours, and as a result, I thought it would be fun to give you guys a list of my most anticipated movies coming out in 2017. And I gotta tell you, this was no easy task. I started by taking a look at over 130 films that are scheduled to come out in 2017. From there, I whittled the list down to a list of about 31 movies or so that I would likely have seen if I didn't have this channel, if I didn't work at a movie theater, and if I wasn't going to see nearly everything that was released. In other words, 31 movies that I think are deserving of watching on the big screen. Then I cut that list down to a top 15, and that was difficult. At that point, I had to choose 5 honorable mentions. Movies that didn't make the top 10, but yet I was still really excited to check out. So then I finally had my top 10 movies, but then I needed to rank them. And that was a bit of a challenge as well. But I finally did it, so without further ado, let's talk about the 5 films that didn't quite make the top 10, but I'm still really looking forward to watching. And those 5 movies are John Wick Chapter 2. War for the Planet of the Apes, Dunkirk, Blade Runner 2049, and Thor Ragnarok. All those movies, plus about 10 or 20 other films, I'm really looking forward to seeing, but there are at least 10 others that I'm even more excited about. And now, here's my ranked list of my most anticipated movies of 2017. At number 10 is Kong Skull Island. I'm not like a huge fan of monster movies, Godzilla, the original King Kong, stuff like that, but I do enjoy them quite a bit. The thing that intrigues me most about this movie though, and makes me want to put it in the top 10, is the fact that the people making this movie have said that we will see a lot of King Kong throughout the film. So many times with these monster movies, the monsters are only in the movie itself for a few minutes and there's a bunch of boring bullcrap leading up to the big reveal. If we get an entire movie of Kong being the king of Skull Island and showing everyone who's boss, I am so game to see what's in store. At number 9, Logan. Hugh Jackman's final run as Wolverine. That alone was enough to get me excited, but then that trailer came out and oh my god, I freaking loved that trailer. Probably the best trailer of the year in my opinion. It has a completely different feel from the other X-Men movies almost feels a little bit like a western or something. And then the use of Johnny Cash's cover of the Nine Inch Nails song Hurt was absolutely brilliant. Perfection. I am definitely looking forward to this one. At number 8 is Wonder Woman. I'm hoping that this is the film that turns the DC Cinematic Universe around after the misfires that were Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Suicide Squad. The trailers look good, so here's hoping that Warner Brothers has learned from their mistakes and actually gives us a good comic book movie from the DC Comics universe for once. At number 7 on my list is Spider-Man Homecoming. Speaking of comic book movies, here's another one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it feels like we're all a little bit tired of Spider-Man at this point, but this looks to be a fresh new take on the character. It is not another origin story. It shows Peter Parker in high school, played by someone who actually looks like he could be in high school. He teams up with Tony Stark slash Iron Man, which is something that we've not seen before. And Tom Holland, even though we've only seen him in the character for a few minutes in Captain America Civil War, plus the trailer for this movie, he's easily my favorite Peter Parker. Throw in Michael Keaton as Vulture, and this film is definitely worthy of a spot in my top 10. At number 6 is Kingsman The Golden Circle. I freaking love the first Kingsman movie. It was one of my favorite movies of the year when that came out, and I'm excited to see what new adventures are in store. At number 5, Justice League. I gotta admit that after the disappointments of Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad, this movie dropped a few spots in my anticipated list, but like I said a few minutes ago when I was talking about Wonder Woman, hopefully DC and Warner Brothers have learned their lessons and they can finally deliver quality comic book movies. I don't think that there's been an actual theatrical trailer for this movie yet, just the trailer that they showed at Comic Con, but it looks good so far, and so call me cautiously optimistic about this one. I am looking forward to it. At number 4, I have the Lego Batman movie. Okay, now I admit this is probably higher on my list than what it should be, but I love the first Lego movie, 
Batman was a standout character in that film, and I've really enjoyed everything that they've shown us from this movie so far. I'm looking forward to doing a double feature that weekend of this movie and John Wick Chapter 2. Two completely different movies, but both films that I'm looking forward to. At number 3 is Beauty and the Beast. The 1991 animated Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite movies of all time. When it came out, it was my dream to be an animator for Walt Disney Studios. I thought it was beautiful, I listened to the soundtrack constantly, and it was one of my most favorite Disney animated features. And I gotta admit, I was a little bit apprehensive when I heard that they were going to turn one of my most beloved movies into a live action remake. That is, until I heard who they got to star in it. Emma Watson is a perfect choice to play Belle. Ian McKellen and Ewan McGregor as Cogsworth and Lumiere are awesome. Then they have Josh Gad as the Foo, and then we got our first look at the teaser and the first trailer, and it looks so good! If Disney can pull this off, it is going to be huge at the box office, and I cannot wait to see it numerous times. At number 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The first Guardians was one of the most fun experiences I've had in a movie theater my entire life. I literally had no idea what to expect going in, and I loved every moment of that first film. In fact, depending on what day of the week you ask me, it is either my number one or number two most favorite Marvel movie, along with Captain America the Winter Soldier. When they released the trailer for the sequel, I was grinning ear to ear the entire time. You guys can watch my reaction video if you haven't yet. And I gotta say, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 would have been my most anticipated movie of 2017, but there's one more movie that we need to talk about. And my number one most anticipated film of 2017 is Star Wars Episode 8. Yeah, okay, that's a bit of a cop-out because everybody knows I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But it's true. I cannot wait to see the further adventures of Rey, Finn, Poe, and Kylo Ren. I want to see what Luke Skywalker actually says to Rey when she's handing him his lightsaber. I want to see the fallout of the destruction of the seat of the New Republic government, which was Hosnian Prime. I want to see just how evil Kylo Ren will become. I want to find out once and for all, who is Snoke? Look, I've been a Star Wars fan my entire life, pretty much, and I never imagined that we would be seeing the continuing adventures of a galaxy far, far away on the big screen. But when Disney bought Lucasfilm and announced that we would be getting a new Star Wars movie every year, I was beyond thrilled. So yeah, Star Wars Episode 8 is my most anticipated movie of 2017. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Alright guys, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 movies that I'm looking most forward to seeing in the new year. What movies are you guys looking forward to seeing in 2017? Let me know, leave a comment down below. You guys, thank you so much as always for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button, that really helps me out a lot. And then make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel here so you don't miss any of my other videos. You guys can find me online at chefitosmovieblog.com, on Facebook at chefitosmovieblog, and on Twitter simply at chefitosblog. Thank you so much for your support and encouragement this past year. You guys are the best. I look forward to growing my channel and the community in 2017. There are so many potentially great films coming out this year, and I cannot wait to talk about them all with you. Until next time, I will see you at the movies, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.